September 11th of 2017 is five years since this little dream has evolved. And we, we really talked about the program as sort of like building the plane as we are flying it because we really launched into it not quite sure how it would evolve, not quite sure what our, our, our direction would end up being. In our original business plan, we thought we would be producing large numbers of dogs and, and supplying them. And, and what we really learned was our mission is research. Our mission is education, and we have really em embraced that. The speed of the growth absolutely amazes me. If you look back five years ago when we opened our doors with seven puppies and where we are now, you know, we've had 42 or 43 graduates go through our program in five years, and that's just remarkable. I mean, it, it is, and the space that we had. I mean, when we first started training, we had one little room. That's all we had. And now we've, we have the agility yard and the rubble, and, the, and I could just see it growing even more. I mean, from that single purpose detection dog to now having you know, medical detection dogs, we have accelerant detection dogs, bed bug dogs, gas leak dogs, um, all in different areas of detection. But then we also do the search and rescue dogs, which, which was a whole new area for me. Uh, police dogs, um, dual purpose and single purpose. So that, those areas of training have all grown since we first opened our doors. The cancer detection was something that when we originally opened, we thought maybe someday we'll be doing that. And it's, it's a really major part of, of what we're doing. But opening those new avenues to things we hadn't even thought about, uh, it's so exciting. Okay. Bob's reputation and his abilities and training are very well respected in the law enforcement community. And his being here opened doors for us that enables us to be in, in closer contact with the law enforcement community. It's probably one of, the, one of the areas where the center has most evolved into a direction that I don't think it initially thought it would. But we have a unique situation where we get to spend a lot of time from dogs at eight weeks all the way up until they're perhaps 24, 25 months old. Yeah before they enter into their career paths in the, in the police world. It is what Penn stands for in that the, the, the front line, the, you know, the vet school had said in one of their videos, Penn leads. Well, we are absolutely leading uh, the world in, in different aspects of working dog behavior, of health, of research, all of the different aspects, and we're bringing it together, and we're sharing it which is really important that it's not just something that we are keeping to ourselves. You know, it's working. These things are working. The dogs are amazing. I, th I think it's more us that puts the limitations on what we think they can do, but there are no limitations here.